Hey, what is up everybody, it's your boy Wano, and today I'm gonna be reviewing some products from Marvo that they send over, and one in particular, as you can see behind me, the keyboard that I have here is... The keyboard that I have here is the Marvo Scorpion KG980B. Now, the word Scorpion, it wasn't always that well known, right? It wasn't always seen as a very high-end product, but I have to say, Marvo kinda surprised me this time. First of all, the impressions. This keyboard is actually heavy, like the whole box is heavy. I haven't opened anything yet, but my first impression is it's very heavy. Packaging looks insane. The keyboard itself, I'm so excited to be opening this keyboard. I like small keyboards. I like my space when I move around and play some games and stuff like that. The only big disadvantage would be probably the fact that there's no like numpad uh, and that's, that's about it. I mean, you can buy a separate numpad, so that should be fine, right? In any case, on the box, it says you get free keycaps and switches. Now, I am kind of confused about this. We'll see when we open the box, actually. But it says you get free keycaps and switches. And the thing is, on the back side of the box, it shows blue switches. But on the front side, when it says free keycaps and switches, it shows you blue and red switches. Now, that's kind of interesting. I, I don't think I've seen that, like, a lot. Now, one of the big selling points of this keyboard is the fact that, obviously, it's hot swappable. So you can swap the keys from, like, let's say... For example, a blue switch to a red switch. Now, if you like the clicky noise of a keyboard, like the typewriter type situation, you probably like the blue switches more. And then a little bit like softer noise or like an easier click would be the red switches, if I'm not mistaken. Now, let's look at the back of the box. So on the back of the box, it says it has full anti-ghosting, which obviously, you know, it's kind of expected at this point from mechanical keyboards. It has a detachable cable, which as far as I know, is a USB type C to USB type A cable. So that's just something you have to keep in mind if you have something like a MacBook or whatever that doesn't have any USB type A uh, inputs. I know a lot of like slimmer or thinner laptops don't have that. So you have to keep that in mind. Then it has multimedia functions like most other mechanical keyboards. This keyboard is RGB backlit, which once again is kind of standard when it comes to mechanical keyboards. It all depends on what type of keyboard you have, right? I have a Red Dragon 1 uh, as well that has like just pink lights led lights and this one it does seem like it has much more to offer when it comes to the lights then we can move on to it being driver programmable so you can program each key to do something different which i kind of like because if you want to remap the like numpad to specific keys that you don't normally use you can do that as well and then it has a hot swappable design and that is basically it now I, i'm really keen to open this box I want to see what this looks like. I, I really want to see what this looks like. And first of all, I am greeted with... This looks neat. This actually looks really, really good. Like, I can see on my other camera already, everything looks so tidy and it looks, I don't know, not, not high-end, but at least like somewhat mid-range A, I, I would guess. Now, before we get into the actual keyboard, I want to see what's in the boxes at the like back, right? I want to see what this like switches and keys and stuff are all about. Okay, so there's like a bag that has one, two, three, four, five blue switches. Now it's four. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm not nothing, right? Oh no, it is five. Yeah. So we have five blue switches and four red switches right here that we can already like swap out, which is kind of cool. I I have to say I kind of like that a lot, right? Then we have the orange, which I'm definitely going to use because orange is my favorite color. We have the orange key so we can swap that out. I think it naturally comes with, what is that, like gray? Yeah, so that's gray. So I'm probably going to swap that out in any case. And then that is... Oh, there's another box. That is not it. And then on the actual box here, we have the USB Type-C to Type-A cable. Just a normal USB cable. And then we have the... I don't know, what, what do you call this? Like a key swapper, I guess? Something similar to that? I don't know, I don't know. It looks cool though. Right, and that is it for the like extras of the keyboard, I guess. There's like a random piece of cardboard in there as well. Now, let's actually see this keyboard. I'm, I'm super stoked to see what this is all about. Now, this thing is kind of heavy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing is actually Kinda heavy, crap, this looks good. 
Oh my gosh, Marvo! You have outdone yourselves. Wow! Like, this looks insane, bro. Like, just look at that. Wow! Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. That looks that looks decent like that really really looks decent and this thing is heavy it's jam-packed with i don't know if it's weights or <laughs> if it's just the technology that's in the keyboard but this thing is heavy now obviously you have your user manual which is standard and a nice little marvo scorpion sticker or marvo scorpion series i guess a sticker which is kind of cool right now the keyboard we have to test this out right it's we have to i want to see oh actually i want to listen to how this sounds like normally like oh okay so it seems like different keys have different sounds like i can hear most of them are probably blue switches but then some of these that you like more regularly use that do kind of sound like red switches there is one way to find out right if i can open this thing there we go easy so how does i don't know how this thing works right i know it's like you can like pull it out like this or something i'm i'm probably butchering this whole situation right oh there we go whatever I don't know if that's the way you do it, but it does seem like it works. So it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so I see the like at least like the normal like alt keys and stuff. That's blue switches. The space bar sounded different. I'm not gonna lie to you. It. I'm just gonna do this. Screw this. The space bar did sound different, but that's also blue switches. Now what I'm wondering is, did they give four red switches with? For your WASD for the gamers, right? Because you use that a lot, like a lot. And obviously that, that sounds like really loud. So let's see what is actually in the WASD keys. I don't know even if I'm doing this right, but I mean, it does work. So it, it does come out. All right. The S is also a blue switch. Now, my question is, are there any actual red switches in this whole thing how do you get this out there we go because we got the switch out now let's replace this with a red switch where is where are the switches here we go so let's replace this with a red switch and see what this is like like what it actually sounds like right let's do that here we go oh that's silent that's really silent. Let's just put this back. Like, listen to this. This is the blue switch, right? And then this is the red switch. You don't hear anything anymore. Wow. Okay. Let me see if we can change the space bar to the orange one. Because that's, like I said, it's my favorite color. I need to have that in my life. Okay, so let's plunk this on. There we go. And then we have our alt key back in again. Once again, the, the, the sound difference between the red and the blue switches are astonishing. Now, they only give four of them, so you can switch all of them over. But you can at least, like, switch the most important ones, like the WASD and stuff like that. So I would definitely do that if I were you, because if you're, like, let's say a content creator or a streamer, or you're, like, on Discord, your friends, I can imagine the blue switches being kind of loud, right? Whereas the red switches would make it so much easier to, to do everything and play like games and stuff without actual noise. So yeah, I, I think I'll switch this over quickly and see if we can maybe like, I don't know, like t test this in an actual real case scenario. Maybe if I can actually pull out the switches. How do the switches work? We have to plug this bad boy in and see what it looks like. I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda curious to see 
what this thing looks like. I'm I want to see the lights and how everything lights up. So we'll see. This is one long ass cable. Like this is at least a meter and a half cable, which is which is nice. It's good to see that they actually think about people not having their keyboards like at their PC case. Okay, we plug it in and then. word just look at that wow for you guys that can actually see this like this looks insane it does look like it's not like really configurable it almost looks like zones oh no wait it is it is fully it's fully configurable now what does it say in the use okay let's see we have the multimedia keys which is basically just fn and then F1 to 12, which we don't, we're not gonna use right now, right? Then we need the actual like backlit keys. All right, let's 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 see if we can switch between all the colors and then you can actually see how that kind of looks like. So you have blue, you have pink, you have, what's this, yellow? You have like a, I don't know, an aqua, and then blue again and pink again. So it's like, it's not a lot of like variation with the colors, but at least it's, it has the ability to change a lot of these colors. I'm gonna keep everything like the original as it was because that looks kind of sick. And then let's see what happens when we play a game. When we like see how it feels when we play an actual like an actual game game, right? Okay, let's see. Oh my, this looks weird. This looks so damn weird. I'm so used to having the buttons somewhere else. Okay, so the normal, ooh, like the WASD feels a lot better than a lot of the other keys. Obviously, you can hear the like switches from the like normal keys, but like normally it feels pretty, pretty good. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> so. If you talk about the price of this keyboard, this keyboard, as of the time of recording at least, is 500 Rand. You can buy it at like eftech.co.za if you're living in South Africa. Uh, I don't know where you can buy it anywhere else, but yeah, in South Africa, you can buy it at eftech.co.za for 500 Rand. So be sure to do that if you wanna uh, get your hands on a keyboard like this. It is the Marvo Scorpion, or you can just type in Marvo KG980B. It is an absolutely beautiful keyboard. What I would love to see is the same keyboard, but with like Bluetooth. That would be like the top of the line, like like a really good situation we got going on there. But apart from that, I want to say the keyboard itself, like the keyboard itself looks awesome. It feels awesome. It's actually really heavy and it's not that big. Like you can see it's really, it isn't that big. I really love what they did with this keyboard especially for the price point like for 500 rand you can't expect like a high-end keyboard but this does deliver in a way that like it sacrifices some of the like higher end stuff that you can get to like the thousand rand price point but it gives you enough to be able to comfortably play while you know gaming or while streaming even if you want to by giving you that like four red switches which by the way, you can fit the blue and the red or whatever color switches you want to put on there. I don't know exactly what the switches are called that are in here, but I do know that you can definitely change them up. Like it doesn't really say which switches it uses, but it's the like, I don't know if it's like cherry switches maybe. I'll put it on the screen if I figure that out, but yeah. All in all, this keyboard, I want to say out of 10 for the price point at least. This is a solid 8 out of 10. What I would love to have seen is maybe to give a USB Type-C to C uh, like cable for those who are like vibing on a Mac or like a very thin laptop because this is on a price point that you can expect people to still want to buy a keyboard like this because it looks really good. I know this keyboard is obviously it's made for gaming. It says literally on the box born for gaming right so it's it's specifically catered towards gamers and it's a very good budget option for gamers right overall yeah 
8 out of 10. Solid, solid work, Marvo. This this keyboard really does it. It's gonna become my main keyboard right now, even though I have brown switches, which is really, really silent compared to a lot of the blue switches. I think for the foreseeable future, I'm probably gonna use the, the Marvo KG980B. And then we have the Pulse 60 headset, which I am gonna be reviewing a little bit later on. So stay tuned for that. And let me know in the comment section how you feel about this keyboard. So that being said, got one question for all of you. Do you want to play?